I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about y'all, but to me, it low key sounds like we want the fuck. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. But to me, it low key says we want the funk. Now, if you are hearing my voice, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's right. Okay, if you're hearing my voice or if you're seeing me on your screen, that's right. Baby, you're not imagining anything. We are back. Okay. The Don't Dress Go Pod is back, and we are here to stay. I'm just trying to tell y'all now, before we get into this episode, before I before I let y'all really know, like, what's been going on, where we been at, and why we ain't been posted in so long. Okay, let me do a mental health check-in. <laughs> you guys know how we're going to kick this off. I hope that you guys are having an amazing week. Now, if you're not, then you know what to do. Hit me in the DMs and let me know. I'm not having a good week. Now, there's nothing I could do for you in this moment. But continue to speak it over you and hope and pray that you have an amazing week going forward. Okay? Um, But hit me in the comments and let me know, like... Girl, the week ain't weekend. And... <laughs> I'm I'm gonna continue to speak it over to you. Speak it over speak it into existence over you because that's that's what we're here for. Okay. I'm here to make sure you push through and you're here to make sure I push through. We are accountability push through partners, okay? Yeah. The Dr. Scopot is back. We're back and better than ever. So <laughs> Now, um, so I know we've been a minute. I know it's been a minute, but your girl, your your girl, your girl Bree is back, okay? And I know, I know, you're probably wondering where we've been, but I'm here to catch y'all up and and share some exciting news that we have going on. So grab a seat, grab a snack, whatever you need. Let's dive into this episode. Okay. Yeah. So let me let me just you guys, I'm just so happy to be back. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you. Um, so let me just let me just let me just break the ice for a minute and explain why we have not had an episode since probably about April, May. Um, I think the last episode we did, my car got broken into, and that was, whew, that was, that was a time, <laughs> that was a back-to-back -back incident, uh, four attempts in three months type of thing, your girl was going through it, okay, and, um, it, life just was not going as planned um, between balancing work, starting school, you know, attempting personal growth and everything that comes with this ghetto as adulthood. <sighs> the podcast, unfortunately, had to take a back seat. It just that it, it, it had to. But in that time. Okay, your girl, there there's been a lot that has happened. But in that time, Mariah, I I I've learned a lot um about for one where I want this podcast to be, where I want this podcast to go, what I want to do with this podcast and and everything that I have planned and when I tell you that the comeback is going to be better than ever, okay? This is what, the comeback is what we've been waiting for, okay? Um, because, yeah, this 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 what we worked for. Like, we had to take a break, and we had to get shit together. Point blank, period. We had, we had to get shit together. Um, I started school. So I started school, I think, in, like, July or August. Um, maybe June. 
I don't know. I started school basically, and um, I've decided to take classes that gear towards what I actually want to do in life and where I actually see myself being happy, um, which is this podcast. My school actually ended up offering not only a podcast class, but like um, almost like a certificate degree sort of thing to go along with that. So um, I've been, you know, trying to do that. And um, in the meantime, I've had some like creative roadblocks, just been trying to figure it out. Like not necessarily just how to get more guests or like more engaging topics, but just, you know, how to make this an overall better experience for not only you as a listener, but me as the host. Okay. So we can have a, a grandiose time. Okay. Um, and honestly, you know, honestly, if I'm, if I'm being honest, um, oh, while I've been on this break since like April, May, ish time your girl was out here and your girl is still out here okay let's not get that twisted your girl was out here trying to be a full-time student okay um as well as a full-time podcaster full-time comedian maybe full-time work for myself okay work on my own schedule yes that's how your girl's been trying to work it and um it ain't the easiest it ain't it ain't the easiest um i ain't made a dime <laughs> i would love i would love to act like i'm joking but maybe i ain't made a dime since okay um you know i ended up losing my job uh I'm saying losing because it was technically a separation that was not initiated by me. But was it really a loss? Mentally, no. Financially, yeah, I'll be honest, it was. (laughs) It was definitely a loss financially. But, you know, this life, you get jobs, you lose jobs. I ain't going to sweat over something that I know I was never happy with anyway. So, um, but yeah, it, you know, financially I took a hit, but mentally, mentally I've been doing amazing. Um, I started going to the gym five days a week leading up to the wedding oh and you guys the wedding happened for those of you who were like tuned in okay invested the wedding happened and your girl made her goal okay made her goal a little bit too well but made her goal that's for sure um yeah so you know been been trying to survive as a full-time podcaster um content creator student well i'm only taking one class a semester now so i'm not a full-time student anymore but you know it feels like it it still feels like it um but yeah that's that's where i've been at what i've been trying to do um at this point everything is for the podcast um i know y'all have seen that i feel like it's a temptations movie and uh they're like they're coming to see me and they're like they're coming to see the temptations and he's like anybody come to see you otis and it's just like yeah yeah okay um because the people is here to see me okay the people is here to see me and oh wait that wasn't even the part i was talking about no 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 um okay so i don't know if you guys seen that part i think it's intuitions where the guy is just like um ain't nobody bigger than the group and um or ain't nothing bigger than the group. i don't know okay i, I really don't know but 
that that's how I feel about this podcast. At this point, at this stage, at this day in my life, nothing is more important than the podcast team and <laughs> that's you and me. That's us. So um now that we're back, okay, we are coming back strong. We've got a lot lined up for you. We have new guests. Um I wanna say we have better better production quality. And we do. We do. It's not perfect, but we do. Um we have new ideas, okay. And you're still getting this this Brie energy. You're getting this this comeback new Brie energy, okay? Yeah. I'm trying to be here for y'all like I'm trying to be here for me, okay? We're we're gonna do this together. Uh, so eventually we will have like scammer action um but for now we we we're working with the same light scammers and actions but we are um we're coming back and we we have so much planned um production will only get better lights will only get better cameras will only get better we actually are changing our scenery um, so yes, we are coming out of my bedroom, you guys. Um, I think I just have to go Because I know how much some of you guys really enjoy being in this bedroom. Um, but as you grow, you got to grow. Okay. The location has to grow with you. And as we grow, we are outgrowing this location. Um, besides, I don't want all y'all thousands and millions of people in my bedroom like this. Okay? Not for free. And before you try to hop in my comments talking about, it's not even thousands or millions of people watching. Bitch, it will be. Okay? It will be one day and I don't, I don't, I don't want the thousands and millions of people in my, in my bedroom then. Okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you for understanding. As far as our comeback, we are still bringing the same realness that you guys love. We are still focusing on mental health, um, still dropping our little comedy bombs in there, and also still still focusing on the grind. But we also will be talking about more raw. We'll also be having more raw conversations about what it's like to hustle in this industry, um, what it's like to hustle in the entertainment world, and what it's just like to hustle, period, in in real life. For the people who, who don't get it, for the people who don't, because we, I think we all live different lives. Like, we all have similarities, and we all have, you know, things that we can relate to one another about, but I think we all live different lives. Like, as a sportscaster, a sports broadcaster, I don't live the same life as someone who, who's a teacher. I don't live the same life as someone who is the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Um, so I think we all live separate lives or different lives. Um, and what, what's, what's the hustle like in that life? Me personally, I'm uh, keep it on how much I... Me personally, I, I don't want a life where I have to hustle. Outside of this podcast, I don't want to hustle in life. I want a soft life. I <sighs> Husband, if you're listening, and I feel like you are, um, I want a soft life. I want you to have a soft life as well. It's, this is not just soft girl life. I want us to have a soft life experience that um so to my man who 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 should be listening to my man who's not my man but could be my man <laughs> so you really should be listening i think we should have a soft life together you know just call me when you're ready call me when you're ready for that 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 soft life um so yeah, with that being said, baby, we're we're bringing the funny, 
Okay. <laughs> if you didn't find that funny, that's between you and whoever, whatever comedy you seem to have. I'm sorry, but we are bringing the comedy and making sure the laughter is coming back full force. Okay. And shout out to all the loyal listeners. Okay. Who, who have stuck around even through the hiatus. Y'all, the ones who have stayed subscribed and messaged me, asking when we're coming back, call me, text me, DM me, flag me down in the middle of the street. Um, If you think I'm being delusional, then that's okay. You could think that, okay? Um, Yeah, you can. For the ones who have tackled me, stalked me, <laughs> harassed me, harass me threaten to beat my ass over this podcast don't worry baby we're coming back okay you don't have to worry about me no more we're gonna be back in your ears on your screen wherever it is you listen or get your podcast at we will be back there every week every wednesday at 6 a.m pst time and i'm, I'm coming back because i see y'all I appreciate y'all. You're you're the real MVPs, and the comeback is for y'all. It's for me, too, because I really want to do this, but the comeback, it's for your loyals. Because you know what? When you, when you, when you a true day one and you stay down, baby, when I tell you when we get up, it's, it's up from here, okay? It is up from here. If you're listening to this episode in 2024, yeah, it's up from here. Everybody locked in, everybody subscribe. We we are a whole fucking team, you guys. Like y'all want to see me, y'all want to hear from me every week and I want to hear from y'all and I want to see y'all every week. So I'm keeping y'all accountable and you keeping me accountable and that's what we going to do. Um so with that being said, I just like I said, I just wanted to come back and let you guys know that we are we are returning. We are, don't you ever forget us. And I'm glad that you guys have not. Um because I haven't forgotten about you guys. I haven't. We just we just went through some things. Life was life in. And I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I I've been in a new gym. So I don't know if it was and I, I've been seeing this this phrase everywhere. I don't know if it was Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali. Um, but they said that it's not about how hard you get hit. It's about basically if you can get it and, and get back up. And um I was hit hard a lot. Um I do want to thank you guys for staying tuned for being here when I wasn't here for continually viewing and watching and streaming the shows and um I just want to say again I said this on the, I said this on Instagram I'll say it on here as well if you or anybody you know would like to be on or if you think somebody would make a good guest on this show have them either DM or email the no dress code pod. If you or anybody you know um, would be a good guest on this show, or if you if there's anybody that you would like to see come on this show, um, send me a DM, send me an email, send us a smoke single, get a get it to us any way, shape, or form that you can. Um, we are always accepting guest requests. Um, always. Okay, we ain't never too big to be up to no guest request. So if, if you or somebody you know you think would make a good fit for this show, then have them DM us, have them email us. Um, we will greatly look we will look into it. We would greatly appreciate it. Anybody who wants to come on, we love talking to new people. And um, you guys are gonna love it here, okay? If somebody referred you, you're really going to love it here. Stop playing with me. Okay. And before I let you guys go and before I let you guys continue on with your week, you already know what I'm about to say. I hope that you know to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that you know to share 
this podcast um we are available on youtube apple spotify wherever it is you get your podcast from and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to pull up because they're gonna love it here just like you do share the love spread the love stop being stingy and i'll see you in next week's episode bye